So here we have the next installment of the Get It Painted Challenge, which involves the first five completed models. And so I just got done with the varnishing today. So there's all these guys are completely done. This feels like this kind of lovely thing. Got a nice color on that hair. I like this guy's pose too, the bolter. Kind of moving forward. Oops. And just uh, no while in this face, but they put a tuft on it for once. And I really don't like this kind of like where the chainsaws are with the bolter. I have another guy like this. I didn't actually build these guys, I bought them already assembled. I might change that if the guys aren't. I really don't like that very much. And then of course the completed um, Death Company guy, which is just absolutely amazing. These guys I did build. Oops. This pose is just fantastic. Perfect. It actually makes it a little better like that. I don't know. It's still a great pose. It came out great. I did put glass varnish. I do put glass varnish in all the uh, blood drops. Usually when I do my blood angels. So. But yeah, he's all done. Of course, all the bits are done. Varnished. There is the first five models, so I've actually technically got enough to do a second unit of Cray Hunters, if I ever need to. Um, so i got these four guys, and i got the two Plasma guys, so I can put um, one Plasma Gunner with these guys, and be, plus the other ten guys I have, and there'll be two full units of Cray Hunters. So yeah, I don't ever plan on running two units of Cray Hunters, but I have them. And then I started working on the other two, next two guys. So let me just do two. Simply because of the amount of work involved. It's just what I wanted. I didn't want to do more than that at a time. All the rest of my uh, the deck from the guys I have are bolter guys. So we got magnetized jump packs, magnetized regular backpacks, and bolters because they're relentless, so I don't see ever taking them without bolters because they're free, so you get the two strength, two shots before you assault. Of course, better overwatch. I don't see, and with the rage, you're not really losing anything. So I don't see any reason to not take Bolter on Death Company guys for the most part. And we got the other three bases done too. Since I was doing the bases for those guys, I decided to go ahead and do the remaining bases. I only had three other ones left, so I went and built those at the same time. These guys will have their bases, and then I have two more Death Company, which I'll probably do next. Um, so I'm probably going to either cut this guy's arm off completely. And see, this is the same pose as this other guy. I'm not a fan of that pose at all. Um, so I'm going to use, change this arm, and I just cut the hand off and just twist, the, twist it. So it's more, uh, more the way I like it. So anyway, I'm coming along, I'm going to get it painted and challenge, and of course I do have commissions going on, but I've been doing those around these, the next two the Death Company guys. I did base coat these black, and these were prime black, but then I painted them black anyway, using, um, what did I use in the black on these ones? This one. The model air was black. So that's why they're not prime color, they're actual black paint instead of just black primer. So, making good progress on these two Death Company guys. They won't take very long. I'm only doing two at a time. It makes it nice and, well, relaxing, actually. Um, so last night, while I was painting, I was watching Star Trek Renegades, which came out yesterday. Um, so that was nice to do um, while I was painting. So that's it for this update. This is the Get It Painted Challenge update. Um, I do have um, a completed commission video coming up, and after that, um, I don't know, I'll probably keep working on these guys. I got a lot of things going on in my head on what I want to do in the future, but that's all going to be on other videos, so thanks for watching.